Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about sub panels, specifically like the one you see right behind me. So stick around. So we're just going to take the wire, gently pull down. The cord is pretty much melted together. So there we have our end, our finished end with our. Okay, so there are times where you need to install a sub panel. You simply don't have enough room in your main panel or the sub panel is feeding some other part of the house or an apartment or whatever. The biggest thing or the key to mounting a sub panel is that it's a fraction of the power of the main panel. So we'll go through it and show you how we've done it. Okay, so here's our main 200 amp panel coming in from outside the street side with our main 200 amp breaker at the top and you can notice all our branch circuits which we're now tying in with the exception of this one big black cable. That's a 100 amp cable and you can see here at the bottom of the panel we have our neutral and our two hots and that runs all the way along the wall and all the way out to that sub panel which we'll go out to in a second but I just wanted to point out that this end of the tech cable needs to have a bonding bushing and then that gets bonded right to the casing of the panel to to bond. So in other words, when I'm talking ground, this bonds the equipment here and bonds this metal casing of this panel to the other one on the other end. You can see here that we've left our bonding screw in on our first point of connection and then it gets removed on the second panel, which we'll show you when we get the cover off. So as you can see, the other end of that tech table cable comes down into this panel. This panel is recessed into this wall, and the reason for that is because we have a small uh, mom and pop suite, or Airbnb, or apartment, or whatever you want to call it, which has fire separation. So as you can see, this comes in with a dry connector, because we're inside, and it comes into a bushing. Now this doesn't need to be a bonding bushing on this end, because we've done the bonding bushing at the other end of the panel or the other end of the main panel. So this here, the ground actually goes to the casing of the panel. And then if there was a bond screw on this, which I think there was, which was right here, we have removed it. Now, the neutral, uh, we should probably put a little white tape on that, Jared. The neutral, which is the blue, which we've identified here as the neutral, it goes onto the neutral bar, and then we have our red and then our black, which go onto our main 100 amp breaker. That will then subfeed out to all the subfeed breakers. This is the neutral bar, so this is where all our neutrals will tie on, and this is our ground bar, where all our grounds are going to go. And the reason we haven't tied these circuits underneath here, because if we do that and we power this panel up at this point, um, then we need to put the cover on. And if we put the cover on, then most likely the drywallers will do a nasty job when they go to drywall around it. So we're leaving this cover off so that they can properly drywall around it, and then we'll come back and do the tie-in later on. So Luke, do you guys have sub panels over in UK? Uh, yeah, you do if you have them for garages. Garages? Yeah. And how, how big are they? It's like one or two breakers. That's it? Yeah, don't need much. So it's not like here then, because no. we've got uh, 24 circuits in that over there. No, no sub, like there's, it's on bigger scale. So like if you're in an industrial setting, then you'll have say like a, a big industrial panel will come in, then that will subfeed all, all the other panels. Ah, so, uh, so you guys do more panels than you do branch circuits, is what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, so Luke's just finishing up uh, tying the sub panel in here and doing all the other interior circuits, or the branch circuits, and then we're going to button that up and put the cover on it and uh, wait for our inspection. So at this point we're just doing a construction hookup off the main service. We're getting two, uh, a couple of plugs fired up for them so they can, the drywallers can work and crack fill and then later on we'll come in and put some heat in and then slowly start uh, measuring out our circuits and testing everything out. So anyway, that's the basics of how the whole sub panel works. We didn't really get into the branch circuits today, but this was more so on the main panel. So come from the main panel to the sub panel. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.